I guess my story is just that of persistence and resilience and believing in yourself whether or not you are not the favorite. I mean, there's an old saying, you're not money, not everyone is going to love you. But if you come into this world with a purpose and to do what you want to do, then that is enough. And so for me, on the 8th of December, I will be walking in Atlanta for Miss Universe. Thank you. And I must say it's not the easiest thing I've ever done in my life because of the constant comments coming in every day of South Africa sending in a delegate that's a downgrade from the other ones that they've had. A downgrade by, we've had um, Demily Nell Peters. She won Miss Universe. Um, she was in South Africa. Last year, Tamron Green came in second place and they were favorites because they are amazing women. But what people need to know is that Africa has different multifaceted women and different types of beauties. And so this year, whether they like it or not, they're being introduced to me. And I'm, I'm so proud. At first, I didn't want to. And I'm so glad that I came in here and sat in that chair today and listened to the speakers because now they've given me more confidence and conviction to say I am different. I don't look like anyone who's ever won Miss Universe. I don't look like anyone who's ever been called beautiful. But if I want to challenge status quo, then I will be the sacrificial lamp because it means I'm opening doors for my younger sisters and my brothers to be able to believe in themselves and to do these things as well. Somebody has to do it. And if that person has to be me, then so be it. I am ready to actually take it on and I'm so excited to be able to do it. And thank you to everyone for listening to my little story. And <laughs> I hope that it has inspired someone in this room to just continue being themselves and knowing that their stories as well might inspire other people who are listening. Thank you. Choose to make a positive impact. Lead essay.